Hi everybody, it's Jen Sheffer. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training tutorial on how to create an open-ended question in Nearpod. So you will start by going into your Nearpod library and you're going to click on Create. From that drop-down menu, you will select Lessons. Now, open-ended questions are a great way to either start a lesson or end a lesson. It's totally up to you. The way you would do it is once this opens, you can give your lesson a title, but you're gonna go ahead and click on add slide after you've given it a title. From here, you're going to click on activities and open-ended questions is the second option. So this is going to load and I can type in the open-ended question for my students to respond to. And um, I'm going to ask them how they're feeling about the presidential election. So once I've typed that, I have a couple additional options before I save and assign. I can time my students so I can click on add timer and specify the number of minutes and seconds students will have to respond. If that's necessary, I can add that. I could also add media, video, or audio instructions if I needed to provide students with more detail. And finally, I can toggle on the ability for my students to record themselves responding to this uh, open-ended question. Once I have made those re, uh, appropriate choices, I can go ahead and click on Save. And that open-ended question will save, and that is something that I can share with my students um, through the Nearpod join code. So if you wanted to start off with Nearpod, um, just with that one interactive activity, you can certainly do that. You would, again, title the, le uh, excuse me, the lesson. We can say presidential election. We would then save and exit week can add some lesson details in terms of the grade and the subject area. If we're ready to save it and exit, we can go ahead and save and exit. Then we will be able to launch the lesson in live participation mode, or we could do student paste. But you can see here, it is just one simple open-ended question. I could share this at the beginning of a morning meeting um, or at the start of a more detailed slide presentation that will um, provide more information to my students about the election. Um, but hopefully you feel confident with this tutorial to create your own open-ended question. And again, you would click on live participation. You would give the students the join code. They would answer that open-ended question. You would gather that assessment data. You would then end that particular session. There are additional tutorials on Nearpod that um, I've shared with you, but um, hopefully you will give this open-ended question activity a try. I appreciate you watching and stay tuned for additional tutorials. I'll see you soon.